Proc 3.5 so is trying to reason from first principles, so apply kind of the uh, the, the tools of physics to, uh, to thinking. Two of the biggest visionaries in tech, Elon Musk and Satya Nadella, just dropped some major intel on what's coming next in artificial intelligence, and it's huge. Musk sat down for an in-depth conversation with Nadella, and guess what they talked about? Grok 3.5. Yes, the next evolution of the XAI model, and what it's going to be built on. Meanwhile, Sam Altman also shared a sneak peek into the future AI models that OpenAI is planning to release. In this video, we're diving deep into everything they revealed. What's new, what's groundbreaking, and why you should definitely be paying attention. This is the future unfolding right before our eyes. But first, quick favor. If you're loving this breakdown, smash that like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell too so you never miss any of the latest updates in AI and tech. All right, let's start with Grok 3.5. One of the most fascinating things Elon Musk shared is that this model is being designed from the ground up to think, using first principles reasoning. That means no shortcuts, no assumptions, just raw, foundational logic driving its decision-making. Can you imagine an AI that doesn't just mimic human thought, but actually reasons like a genius-level problem solver? It's not just another update. It could be a total game changer. So yeah, with with, with Grok, especially with Grok 3.5 that uh, is about to be released, um, it's tr it's trying to reason from first principles. So apply kind of the uh, the, the tools of physics to uh, to thinking. Um, so um, if you're trying to get to fundamental truths, you you try you, you boil things down to the the axiomatic elements that are most likely to be correct. Uh, and then you reason up from there, and then you can test your conclusions against those axiomatic elements. And you know, in physics, if if you violate conservation of energy or momentum, then you're you're either going to get a Nobel Prize or you're you're wrong, and and you're almost certainly wrong, uh, basically. So, um, so so the, 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 the that's really the focus of of Grok three point five is um, uh, sort of a fund, fundamentals of physics um, and and applying physics tools across uh, all lines of reasoning. Um, and to aspire to truth with uh, minimal error. Like there's always going to be some mistakes that are made, uh, but we aim to, to uh, get to truth with acknowledged error, uh, but minimize that error over time. And um, I think that's actually extremely important for uh, AI safety. Um, so I've thought a lot for a long time about AI safety, and my ultimate conclusion is the the old maxim that honesty is the best policy. Uh, it, it really, really is for for safety. Um, but I do want to emphasize, we, you know, we we have and will make mistakes, but we aspire to correct them very quickly. Um, and we we are very much looking forward to feedback from the developer community to say, like, what do you need? Where are we wrong? How can we make it better? Um, and to to have Grok be something that the developer community community uh, is very excited to use, and where they can feel that their feedback is being uh, heard and uh, and Grok is, is, is improving and uh, serving their need. Yeah, I know it's in some sense, you know, cracking the physics of intelligence is perhaps the real goal uh, for us to be able to use AI uh, at scale. And so it's so good to, you know, take that first principles approach that you and your team are taking. Yeah, it, it's incredibly important uh, for an AI model to be grounded in reality. Uh, reality, you know, um, I was saying, which is like, like physics is the law and everything else is a recommendation, which is, I'm not suggesting people break the, 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 the laws made by, you know, humans, uh, you know, we, we should generally obey the laws of humans, but, but I've seen many people break, uh, human made laws, but I have not seen anyone break, uh, the laws of physics. Um, so for, for, for any given AI grounding it against reality, um, and reality, for example, as you mentioned with, with co the car, it needs to drive safely and correctly, uh, the, a uh, humanoid robot uh, optimus needs to you know perform the task that 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 it's being asked to perform um the, these uh these, these are things that are very very helpful for uh ensuring that the model is uh truthful and accurate um because it has to adhere to the laws of physics so so i think that's actually maybe uh so some somewhat overlooked or at least not talked about it enough is that it, to really be intelligent, it's 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 got to make predictions that are in line with reality. Of, in other words, physics. Uh, that's that's a, it's a really fundamental thing, um, and um, and being able to ground that uh, with uh, cars and robots is is very important. 
Um, we, are, we are seeing uh, Grok be very helpful in things like customer service. Um, and um, you know, the, the AI is infinitely patient and friendly and you can yell at it and it's still going to be very nice. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so that's good. Um, yeah. And, and so, um, so I, I think in terms of improving the quality of customer service and sort of issue resolution, um, uh, AI is already, uh, Grok is already doing quite a good job of that at SpaceX and Tesla. And, um, and we, we look forward to like offering that to, to other companies. Now let's switch gears and dive into what Sam Altman had to say, not just about the next wave of AI models, but also his bold predictions for the future of software engineering itself. Before we jump into OpenAI's upcoming model roadmap, Altman dropped some serious insights on where coding and development are headed. And trust me, it's going to make your head spin. Remember when they launched Codex, that groundbreaking tool that turned natural language into actual code and revolutionized how developers work? Yeah, that was just the beginning. And honestly, the pace at which this tech is evolving is nothing short of mind-blowing. We're talking about a world where writing code could soon be as simple as describing what you want in plain English. Are we heading toward a reality where traditional coding becomes almost obsolete? Altman definitely thinks we're on that path. So if you thought AI was changing industries, just wait until it completely reshapes the way software is built. Let's keep rolling. Up next, hear what Altman had to say about the AI models set to drop next. One of the things I know you've thought a lot about, uh, you know, all these various form factors that developers use for software engineering. Of course, you did the CLI, and now, yes, uh, you know, last week you did uh, the coding agent. You want to talk a little bit, Sam, as sort of the vision you have for how software engineering evolves and actually how developers will use all these various form factors together. Yeah, so, Satya, you... You and I have been talking about this for a long time. In fact, the very first version of Codex, I think it was all the way back to 2021, one of That's the very right. first things we, we did together uh, in GitHub. And we've been talking about how someday we'd get to like uh, a real agentic coding experience. And it's it's kind of wild to me that it's it's finally here. I think this is one of the biggest changes to programming that I've ever seen. But this idea that you now have a, a real virtual teammate that you can assign work to, that you can say, hey, go off and do some of the stuff you were just doing and increasingly more advanced things, you know, at some point say like, I got a big idea, go off and work for a couple of days and do it. And that you can issue many requests in parallel, that you can be fixing bugs, implementing new features, answering questions about the code. Um, this is like true software engineering task delegation. Uh, and I think it'll only get better from here, but, but this is just a tremendously exciting moment. It integrates very deeply with GitHub. You can give it access to a repo and an environment and you can get some pretty- Now all of this is already wild, right? I mean, we're watching the future unfold at lightning speed, and honestly, it's becoming almost impossible to keep up. But here, where it gets even more fascinating, Sam Altman himself admitted something that a lot of us are feeling, this pace of change. It's insane. Even for the people building these AI models, the rate at which new breakthroughs are happening is overwhelming. We're talking about advancements that feel like they come out of science fiction, being released months, sometimes weeks apart. So if you're sitting there thinking, wait, what just happened? You're not alone. Even the experts are struggling to catch their breath. This isn't just evolution. It's a full-blown revolution in artificial intelligence. And we're right in the middle of it. You know, obviously, you're also working on a lot of models and are very sort of fantastic. In fact, we've had a chance to sort of sim ship a lot of the models you guys yeah. have built. Uh, just talk, tell us a little bit about what's sort of coming as far as the model roadmap itself. The, the models are already very smart. They will continue to get smarter too. But I think one of the most exciting things is the models will get simpler to use. You won't have so many to pick from. It'll just sort of automatically do the right thing. They'll get much more reliable. You'll be able to trust them for much more. There'll be a lot more features like multimodality and great tool use and integration. Um, it'll be closer to the, it just works. You know, it can, I can talk to it. I can do a complicated coding agentic thing. Um, I can rely on it and, uh, I think people are going to be surprised at how much, how fast we're going to make progress in those directions now. Yeah, I know we're very excited about your model roadmap. And obviously, you know, when you look at ChatGPT, it's the most at scale, stateful, agentic app today that you guys built. Um, and of course, Codex is another sort of agent app that you built. 
And this conference is all about unpacking so that every developer can, in some sense, build these new agentic apps you know, that use the model, use, do their own model scaffolding, go on to even do multi-agent orchestration and so on. You know, any advice you have as people build out these high-scale production, stateful agentic apps, Sam, based on obviously what you guys have been doing and leading? I, I, I think one of the hardest, most difficult things to manage about this is just the, the rate of change. You know, if you think about what was possible two years ago or one year ago or now and uh, what will be possible in another year or two years, sort of planning for this incredible increase in model power and how how people are going to build products and software and companies in in the kind of near future and really leaning into the new tools and the the sort of new workflows that are possible um a, again we haven't seen many technological shifts like this in history but every time one has come like leaning in early and hard has been very rewarded no it's yeah yeah and that's absolutely well said because at some level one of the things we want to really unpack at this conference is what's that app server that allows you to take the latest new sample that comes uh, and keep moving at that pace, because I think that's the challenge we have uh, as developers building these applications. But it's fantastic it, again. Go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, it was amazing to watch over the last few months as we were working on Codex internally. You know, there are always a few people that are the early adopters, and how quickly the people who were just using Codex all day changed their workflow, and just the incredible amount they were able to do relative to someone else was was quite interesting. And there you have it the latest intel from two of the biggest minds in AI, and a glimpse into just how fast this tech is accelerating. If you found this breakdown exciting, drop a comment below and let us know. What are you most excited about when it comes to the next wave of AI models? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss another update. See you in the next one.